plastic bullet test that's right plastic and today i'm testing the inceptor arx and 38 special and nine millimeter through our full size guns and our short barrel guns so we have our smith and wesson 686 four inch barrel compared to our five inch barrel smith and wesson mp because you have basically the same bullet travel in there essentially the same size barrel length and then we have our two inch taurus 605 and our three point uh two inch taurus g2c so arx what is this you know it's inceptor arx now they kind of claim that it, you know you don't need hollow point expansion because of these little flutes in it um i'm not sure that's true though but the thing is what these are they're plastic and they have like a copper matrix that holds it together it's kind of like concrete we have some cement and you add rocks and whatnot and it becomes very hard so it's an interesting concept but my thought is they're very light the uh, 38 Special is a 77 grain, rated at 1260 feet per second, 271 foot pounds. 9 millimeters, a 65 grain, 1650 feet per second, 393 foot pounds. So when you take something that is so light and you push it so fast, you know, first of all, our sectional density is really low. So even if it didn't have those flutes, it probably would not penetrate very far. So in a sense, that makes a lot of sense to have a good defensive bullet out of that because, you know, you take a lot of that uh, over penetration out of the equation very easily by simply using recycled bullets essentially so be an interesting test here so i'm going to go through the chronograph see what kind of velocity and accuracy we get at the same time then i'm going to do my 10 percent clear ballistic test we have four layers of denim followed by three inches of clear ballistics to represent hitting a pectoral muscle i've actually gotten a lot of questions on that they're saying well who's the, who are you shooting arnold schwarzenegger but we have to realize that ballistics gel and clear ballistics you're basically at a half at a half density so three inches is like one and a half inches that's why 12 to 18 inches is what we're normally get in gel even though a human body is typically less than 10 inches thick so that's where we're getting that but i'm gonna do a shot with the mdf and without the mdf in both our long barrels and our short barrels so this first block i'm going to shoot with the the long barrels i'm going to switch out the box we'll do it with the short barrel so we're going to have a nice long ballistic test just to kind of see how these all compare then I'm going to shoot from my full-size steel silhouette, probably 25 yards, maybe 10 yards, just to kind of see what kind of overall practical accuracy I can get. So let's get started with this test. All right, first up, we have our 9 millimeter. It's rated at 1650 feet per second. Being a 5-inch barrel, we should get that. So let's see what we get, or how close we get to 1650 feet per second through my 5-inch Smith & Wesson MMP. 1879, nice. 1825, 1821, 1863, 1857. So a little bit of drop velocity, but that is some serious energy. Almost no recoil. Let's try our 3.2 inch barrel, see how that compares. All right, 3.2 inch Taurus G2C. See how close we get to 1650 feet per second. 1714, 1672, no read, 1652, no read, 1668, so <laughs> above rate of velocity even in this little 3.2 inch barrel. Let's see how our 38 Special does. All right, 38 Special rated at 1260 feet per second with the way people load ammo nowadays or companies. I wouldn't be surprised if we got less than that, but let's see how close we get to that uh, 1260 feet per second. 1211. 1158. 1256. 1314, 1194, accurate, a little bit to, a little bit low and to the right of my aim. Um, and I called it right, you know, below rated velocity. I don't know why ammo companies do that, but they do it nowadays. Let's try our two inch barrel, see how that does. All right, two inch barrel, see how close we got to 1260 feet per second. 1013. And I'm seeing kind of the same phenomena I was seeing on my Smith & Wesson J-frame. I'm seeing multiple impacts like this bullet is fragmenting. 855. 
1031. 1193. 1109. So <laughs> consistency? I don't think so. That is ridiculous. And yeah, I'm seeing bullet fragments. So let's start our ballistic shell block, see what we get with these rounds. All right, I'm gonna start with my full-size handguns in this block. Now, I'm gonna go through the quarter-inch MDF, which rep represents like ribs or sternum. That's something I'm curious about. A lot of people shoot this in plain gel, but what would happen if I actually hit something hard? So, there's our nine millimeter through our quarter-inch MDF. All right, so this bullet is just laying right there on that table. I don't know how it came out of that block and fell right there, but it did. So, I'm going to go again because I didn't catch that bullet. So, quarter inch MDF. Let's try our gut shot now. All right, no MDF, just our gut shot. Let's see how it does. Now, let's go up and take a look. And we are seeing, well, first of all, I'm going to say I'm seeing a lot of damage, which is good. We're seeing a lot of damage up there. And I think that's the type of stuff that you get a lot of quote unquote knockdown power from, honestly. But we're seeing what I was thinking we might see. And that is against the MDF, that thing fragmented up. And I think one actually, one fragment, a little fragment came to about 13 inches, but the rest of them are there at about uh, seven and a half inches, stuff like that. Now without our MDF, with just our plain clear ballistics, we're at 16 and a half inches, which is good. Um, here's our MDF hits. Looks like I hit one close to the other even. So I didn't even hit full MDF and it still did that, which is kind of, you're gonna have to make a judgment call on that if you think that's good or not. But I think I'll take this down. We'll take a closer look at the gel block when I'm done shooting these and we'll just try to get an idea of what's going on. So let's try our 38 Special now. All right, 38 Special through our quarter inch MDF. Let's see how it does. Let's try our gut shot. All right, no MDF, 38 Special. Let's go take a look. All right, so with the MDF, we have a penetration of 11 inches, and here's where it impacted. Clearly, it's sideways. So it's tumbling either as it hits this and then tumbles sideways, or it's tumbling before that. And I'm going to say it's probably tumbling regardless because with the plain clear ballistics shot, we only got about 12 and a half inches, and we can clearly see that damage right there is probably from tumbling. So what we're seeing here is kind of not optimal when you have it too powerful. Kind of not optimal when it's not powerful enough. So maybe this will do all right in our 3.2 inch barrel 9 millimeter, but in our 38 special probably not. So let's put up a new block and do our short barrel test now. All right, short barrel 9 millimeter through our quarter inch MDF. We have all new denim. New first three inches and new MDF, so let's see how this will do. Now let's try our gut shot. All right, no MDF. Let's go take a look. All right, so I want to pull up this MDF to take a look at right away. It does appear to be a slightly oblong hole, but the bullet is still facing forward. 
So it's kind of hard to tell if that's tumbling or if that's just a weird effect of that bullet. But what we're seeing is a consistent penetration and a pretty good damage. Um, that's about the damage you see with a lot of hollow points. And with our MDF, we're actually a little bit deeper at about 14 and a half inches. No MDF, we're at about 14 and a quarter. Very consistent there. And like I was thinking, that's probably the right power level because we didn't fragment it while going through that MDF. So that's pretty interesting. Let's try our 38 Special in our short barrel now. All right, 38 Special through our quarter inch MDF. Let's try our gut shot now. All right, no MDF. Let's go take a look. So when I said, let's go take a look, I had a weird look on my face because that first shot had almost no felt recoil, felt underpowered through the MDF. But then the second shot, it had a massive amount of recoil, like what we were seeing on the chronograph where one shot was 800 and some feet per second. The next one was 1100 and some feet per second. So through our MDF, well, here's our MDF. We can definitely see we got some weird tumbling going on. And we stopped at just eight and a quarter inches. With no MDF, we went up to about 11 and a half inches and we fragmented, which is kind of strange. So let's take a little bit closer look at this block. All right, here's our longer barrels. Here's that fragment with that nine millimeters. It's kind of hard to really see anything with this camera view here, but here's one that, uh, passed out the side here's the nine millimeter long barrel that fragmented here's the one in the gel 38s are nothing to write home about um, short barrels yeah there's really nothing there that is anything that looks good to me so let's do some accuracy drills and see if they're at least accurate now all right 10 yards from the target i'm just gonna mag dump these things i wasn't impressed with them so i just want to see how these things will shoot so Nine millimeter, they had real low recoil and they are, they're kind of fragmenting, but they're not. They're not a true fragmenting round, but they do break into pieces that are relatively small. So let's see how this one will do. All right. I may have missed a couple there. G2C. Try our 38 special now. I already have six rounds of these left, so I'm just gonna do the, the four inch barrel here. And it was the only barrel length that seemed to burn that powder correctly, so let's see how I get with the 38 special. All right, not a bad round for accuracy, but overall, obviously uh, what I'm gonna say about this is, this is not good ammo. Um, you know, it's one of those things where it sounds good on paper, but when you actually go to, to test it and practice it and ballistic test it and all that, it's just not good because we're not seeing consistency. And that's the whole point behind ballistic testing. Not what you might theoretically get in gel and then say you think this is what it would do, but a consistency through multiple barriers, multiple things like, you know, ribs or sturm simulation, stuff like that. And what we're seeing is very inconsistent across the board with not only its internal ballistics, its external ballistics, but with its terminal ballistics. Everything is inconsistent with this. This would be the last ammo I would carry, to be honest. Um, the G2C, it was okay. And through the five inch nine millimeter, that was a very powerful round, and that might do okay if you made a straight on shot. Obviously, you know, the reason why the FBI uses 12 to 18 inches because they're talking about going through an arm, you need to have at least this much penetration, whatever. So there's a lot of rounds that they do well on a front on shot, but you know, consistency as part of that will do well through the side. No, there's nothing about this that's consistent. So I, I personally would avoid it. So that's what you get today with the 38 Special versus 9 millimeter Inceptor ARX test. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching.